Yo. Ha ha. Bill Nicholson. Good YouTube, your boy Mel Livingston coming back with another quick video, man. Today we got the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Series in the Slate Onyx. This is actually, this may or may not be the last colorway that I get on the Mel Livingston channel, but I definitely wanted this shoe in the lineup before the whole Yeezy line is done. Uh, maybe it is, maybe it's not, but we will see. Now, if you see my previous videos, I actually did the Yeezy 350 V2, uh, the Slate Carbons as well as the Slate Pandas. Now, Slate Bone, it's a toss up if I wanted to actually get that, but <laughs> um, it's one of those things where there's a red version that I wanted to, I don't know if it's called Slate Red, but there was one that I wanted to actually go for. I'm not sure if they're actually gonna release that version, uh, but for now you will see a kind of like a, a natural daylight color of what all three colorways look like. And when it came to the Slate Onyx, I felt like this shoe is probably the most wearable. You know, gray and black, it pretty much goes with anything. So I was. this is another shoe that when Adidas did their re-release and I couldn't catch my size, Chewbacca to the rescue and definitely got it at a nice price. And I'm glad I got it when I did because my size on Chewbacca, <clears throat> which is size 13, is pretty much gone. It's a wrap. But... I basically showed everybody on my previous videos regarding the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Series and why it's so beneficial. Uh, it's probably most comfortable out of any other Yeezy line. And what I'm going to show you is basically how much buoyancy that you'll have just taking a step-by-step -step in this shoe. Like you will literally feel so comfortable uh, compared to the, you know, the other Yeezy models, even the, the Yeezy 350 V1, the V2. I felt like this is an underrated Yeezy that once you experience the feeling of putting this on it's the best thing since sliced bread but this is a size 13 if i'm not mistaken it should be uh you can see right there slate onyx is the uh the markings and of course you look on the front it'll tell you that this is the compact series i actually dropped this this was not on shubaka this was me uh i forgot what the heck what i was doing then it also fell but the box i'm not here for the box we're we we, we on the Milton Everson channel, we wear our shoes, so you know let's get this thing opened up because I want to see this real quick. Let me slide this out. And uh, as I was talking about this here, put this down here. As I was talking about in my previous videos, that you know I liked the, the overall design and the concept of this shoe. Uh, and the idea was to basically replace all the primate that you saw in previous uh, renditions of the Yeezy series and incorporate it with foam so in between the prime knit that they have on the upper right here sp on specific parts of the actual shoe there's foam and that foam feels so good to your foot especially over the top is where you're going to experience the most comfort and it also provides some foam padding uh on the sock liner like you, you can feel like this the sock is so thick but when it's around your actual ankle i thought that this would be too tight i mean it's it's like a snug fit um, there is no padding on the back, but because there's so much room in the way of the design of this, I felt like most people, for some people, they're actually saying you might want to go a half size down. And I felt like with me, because I like the extra room, I just got my natural size 13. But I definitely feel in the footbed of, at least not in the footbed, towards the toe area, is why I feel more room than I would with a, let me pull this out real quick with a normal Yeezy 350 V2 and even in the V1 series uh, with the, the compact series because and you'll see this if you notice this V2 is more pointed towards the, uh, the the toe area whereas this is more flat so when you put your natural when you put your feet in you're going to be able to slide up more towards the compact versus the actual V2 um, the original V2 series but they both feature that whole outsole, the rubber outsole with the exposed Yeezy boost at the bottom. And I can tell you right now, you'll feel the boost, but I, I think with where this stands out from the rest, <clears throat> it's just simplicity in the, in the design. The, the rope style laces uh, with the infinity lace, um, basically this is kind of screwed on, or not screwed on, this is actually uh, fused on uh, together with two laces uh, kind of put together so you don't have to worry about untying the laces. Uh, but from what I can see, the structure, the prime knit, and this is actually, if I'm not mistaken, this is the most 
expandable prime net out of all the easy models. So that's another reason why this is comfortable. Again, you can see right here me just kind of showing you how much flexibility that you're going to have when you step into the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Series. I'm telling you, this is the most comfortable, most versatile. It may not be the most favorite in terms of style because I think a lot of two, a lot of people do prefer the V2 and the V1 Series in terms of this design and that model over the Compact. But when it comes to comfort and you're looking for that perfect step-for-step -step stride, definitely consider the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Series. Uh, in this case, this is the Slate Onyx. Now, your boy Mill never said, man, we have to do the on feet for this because I am so, so excited to have this. And actually, before we do that on feet, I'll let everybody know, keep lookout on Chewbacca because I think that last night, if I'm not mistaken, they started dropping Wave Runners and other different models. I think the, the total amount, if you go to Chewbacca's website um, and you type in Yeezy, you can see the number of... of different Yeezys available. I think it was at 90 something. And then when I did a search last night, it increased to like 111 or 112 or something like that. And then I started looking through and started seeing like Yeezy 700, 350, or sorry, Yeezy 700 V3. Azales, I think is what they call it. And then I even saw the Wave Runners. I saw other models just popping up. So you might want to just, this is a website you want to keep, a, keep an eye on because they definitely do start putting more Yeezys on and I'm still waiting for that one Yeezy to hopefully be on the Milton Nificent channel. The Yeezy Foam Runner for millions. I can't believe that's one Yeezy that I can't get, but I am glad that I was able to, to in my eyes, complete the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Series in terms of the colorways that I really wanted. So your boy Milton Nificent man, comment below. Let me know what you think of the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Slate Onyx. Man, this is definitely going to be wearable, and I can't wait to put this on feet. But your boy, my name's a man. I am out. You guys, stay blessed.